Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about uh, an application of quadratic functions, uh, throwing an object. So I'm just going to walk you through everything that you need to know for this. And if you're interested, there are always free guided notes available at divideandconquermath.com. And hey, while you're here, maybe you could do me a solid, like my video, or subscribe to my channel, or leave me a comment. I'm trying to grow this channel, so every little bit helps. Okay, so let's get into it. So, um, a ball is thrown from a cliff 24 feet above the ground, and the height h of the ball in feet t seconds after it is thrown is given by this equation here. So, we're going to ask two things about this, and this is kind of the big thing that we need to remember. So, we'll hold on to that. So, from this equation, how long does it take the ball to reach its maximum height? Now, the word maximum is actually something I've talked about in another video, which I will drop a link to in the description. So this concept of maximum, well, this is important because notice this is a quadratic equation. So quadratics either have maximums or minimums, and it's all dependent on what the, the a in that quadratic is, so what the leading coefficient is. Now in this case, this is negative. Because it's negative, that means the shape of this will look like this. Therefore, the shape of the parabola will definitely have a maximum, right? So that's all dictated because this is a negative number here. So if this has a maximum, then that maximum is just the vertex. So we can really just note, so the vertex in this case is the maximum. So all I have to do then is find the vertex and I will really be able to answer this question. So the vertex assumes that you have a quadratic of the form, so just ax squared plus bx plus c. And to find the vertex, what you've got to do is you've got to take negative b over 2a, figure that out, and then plug that back into the equation. And I've talked about this in detail in some other videos as well. So in our equation, what's my a, what's my b? Well here, my a is negative 16, and my b is 32. Okay, so let's go ahead then and calculate this. What is negative b over 2a? This is negative 32 over 2 times negative 16. So that becomes just 32 over 32, which will equal 1. Okay, so now the other thing that we've got to figure out here is what does this 1 actually mean in this context? So the, the vertex formula is actually a coordinate. Now, usually, usually coordinates are in the form x, y. And that would be how we think of this. This would be the x coordinate, this would be your y coordinate. However, in this case, notice we do not have x and y here, right? So if I had to just state what is the format of a, of a coordinate here, how would I change it? What letters would I use now? I would use the t's and then the h. So now in this case, this is actually of the form t comma h. So I just found t, which stands for time, which answers this question of how long does it take. So what that means then is the time will take one second. One second to reach its maximum height. Okay, so now there's another question. What is the maximum height attained by the ball? Now we're looking at the other part of this vertex. So now I have to plug in my one into this whole equation and figure out what that would be. And if I do this, so this is negative 16 plus 32 plus 24, and that equals 40. So what that means then, this was, remember this is h, so this means the max height is 40 feet. And that would be how you would approach that type of question. Okay, well, that's all I've actually got for this video. I have lots of others, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'll see you guys next time.